friends uh, let's talk about uh, wireless security today as you know internet is a part of our life these days and wi-fi or wireless fidelity is one of the major uh, uh, convenient way that we connect to our internet and as you know wi-fi security when it comes to wi-fi security we talk about wireless network security and uh, the security of the devices that is connected to the wireless network so uh, one of the common uh, uh, most common threats in wireless security is the man in the middle attack so for example uh, we are connecting uh, to the wi-fi uh, you know uh, in various places say for example our house our organization uh, let it be public hotspots like uh, in airports cafes uh, you know hospitals so uh, anyone can connect uh, other unlike the other network uh, network access uh, points uh, Wi-Fi can be connected uh, if it uh, if there is a uh, wireless enabled devices within its range. So what happens is that there can be anyone who is connected to the uh, public hotspot, and uh, if if he is a hacker, he can eavesdrop. If you are using a unsecure communication, he can eavesdrop your traffic, get confidential data, and also uh, you know he can uh, eavesdrop the communication, manipulate the traffic. So these type of attacks are called uh, man in the middle. So man in the middle attack is happening uh, when a hacker or a uh, illegit illegitimate user is within the network and, and he can uh, you know uh, monitor manipulate or monitor the traffic that is uh, happening between the client and the server. So uh, this is one common uh, at, uh, threat that is in Wi-Fi. Then there is e evil twin attack. So evil twin attack is something where uh, there will be a uh, you know. Um, same name, uh, same named uh, uh, Wi-Fi access point, which is actually used to eavesdrop. It's kind of a phishing attack. So let's say uh, we have a, a Wi-Fi access point called XYZ. The same name will be there, uh, uh, which is accessed by the user uh, uh, hacker. So hacker creates a uh, similar access point and he gives you the uh, access to the internet. But the problem is that he will be able to monitor and uh, you know uh, uh, access your credentials from that access point. So that is called evil twin attack. And then we have a ROG access point. Say for example, in an organization, an employee wants to uh, you know, share the network and he creates a hotspot within uh, that network. So uh, the uh, system administrator, the network administrator doesn't uh, you know, realize that there is an access, uh, access point that has been created by the employee. So that is actually a ROG access point. So what happens is that if that access point is uh, you know, uh, configured in an insecure way, uh, anyone who can uh, you know access that uh, uh, hotspot will be able to enter the uh, network of the organization without permission so this is called rock access point then we have uh, denial of services we have a lot of devices that is being connected nowadays that is being connected nowadays uh, you know uh, as the iot got boom uh, booming uh, in the industry we have a lot of uh, you know home automation uh, setup uh, which is using uh, wireless networks these days so uh, you know if any uh, any of these devices uh, you know we can actually uh, create a, a denial of service attack you know that can be uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, where the device is not able to connect to the particular wifi network or uh, you know uh, the service for that particular device is uh, you know uh, uh, denied so that is called denial of service attack then we have uh, you know um, uh, freeloading attacks. Freeloading is if there is an open Wi-Fi without the permission of the user or the man, uh, the network administrator. If we are using the network uh, for our own, you know, there we have a lot of uh, people who uses that. Uh, where if they have find any free uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, or you know, if you have any unsecure uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, so without authentication, he can connect and he can download whatever he wants. So that is called freeloading. Then uh, we have ransomware threats. So if there is a Wi-Fi network and uh, you know anyone can connect it, uh, he can actually drop a ransomware uh, you know within that network. Or when when he downloads something from the internet, uh, which is illegal or you know uh, which is actually malicious, that can also uh, you know cause ransomware threats to the entire network. So these are all common threats. So uh, one scenario I can say uh, when you go to an airport, you know, uh, and you connected to a uh, Wi-Fi network over there. And uh, you know you are uh, confidential information, but the website is using uh, HTTP instead of HTTPS. That is, uh, you know, unencrypted communication. So if there is an attacker within the range of that Wi-Fi and he is accessing the same Wi-Fi network, he can actually uh, view your credentials. He can manipulate the web page that you are viewing. So this is actually called man-in-the-middle attack, like I told you before. And this can be very dangerous when you you know access your sensitive information. So. Uh, for securing your Wi-Fi, uh, always use WPA2 instead of TKIP or um, 
WPA. Okay, this gives an additional security to your uh, Wi-Fi network. Always, uh, you know, change your passwords, Wi-Fi network passwords. Never share your Wi-Fi with your neighbor. So what happens is that when you share your uh, Wi-Fi with your neighbor, uh, he or uh, she may be uh, using that for any illegal stuff. But the connection will be on your uh, name and you will be targeted. So uh, never ever share your uh, Wi-Fi with uh, your neighbor. Uh, you know, uh, and always change your passwords frequently. Uh, also, uh, never reuse your password. Use strong passwords for your Wi-Fi network. Then, when you are uh, using uh, sensitive informations, when you are accessing sensitive informations, uh, sometimes you know uh, there'll be inevitable situations where you want to access uh, sensitive informations using a public Wi-Fi. Use a uh, trusted VPN client. Uh, so, when you use a VPN, there'll be you no know, extra layer of protection that is added to your uh, network. So, use a VPN uh, client uh, so that you can access your. Uh, then when you are uh, using uh, sensitive informations, when you are accessing sensitive informations, uh, sometimes you know uh, there will be inevitable situations where you want to access uh, sensitive informations using a public Wi-Fi. Use a uh, trusted VPN client. Uh, so when you use a VPN, there will be you no know, extra layer of protection that is added to your uh, network. So use a VPN uh, client uh, so that you can access your uh, information without getting eavesdropped by any other uh, you know, hackers. Thank you. Be secure. Uh, use your... Uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, secure way. Thank you.